Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Showtime style MySpace sign. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need your picture of your site model that you want and a blank page that's the exact same size as this. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to select your blank image, select your bucket tool, and then select the pattern that you want. I'm going to use this one. And, wait, no, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. Alright, so after you've decided what you want to use, you're going to make a new blank layer. Then you are going to select a sun vector out of your brushes. And if you don't have any, you can... Um, go to Google and type in, um, um, sun vector brushes, download sun vector brushes or something like that, and you can get some really good sun vectors. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your foreground color is white, and you are going to click and make sure it's white. And then you're going to go to Layer, Layer Style, Blending Options, and go to Stroke. And just choose whatever you want, if you want it. I'm going to do Diagonal Lines. Can't really see it, but... And then I'm going to do a Shadow. And then, um, if you want to, you can choose another pattern to paste in. And if it does that weird thing, then you're going to have to um, delete the center. And then just paste in the ones that you want. And mine's uneven, but I don't care since this is a tutorial. Then you're going to go back to your site model picture, and you're going to click. Um, you're going to edit in quick mask mode. Make sure you have your brush selected like a circle and your harness is 100 your color is black and you're just going to color in your site model you want yours to be perfect because you don't want it to look silly when you paste it on but I'm doing mine not perfect it's a tutorial and I want to make it fast so after you've selected it you're going to click the button again and then you're going to go to select and inverse and then you're going to copy it and paste it over here and as you can see, mine looks really crappy. Because I made it really sloppy. But after you paste it on, if you see any mistakes, you can erase it with the eraser. So I'm doing right now. See, you can just erase whatever you want. And then after you do that, you can put, you can go to layer, layer style, drop shadow. And you can drop shadow and stroke it and all that good stuff and that's how you make a simple showtime style nice face design and if you have any questions you can comment me and ask me bye